Hi everyone, I'm Ruth. Join me on a virtual tour of Niram Streams at Jurong Lake Gardens and find out more about the plants, dragonflies and damselflies here. Let's go! Niram Streams used to be a 300 meter long concrete drain leading from Yuanqing Road to Jurong Lake. It has since been transformed into a series of naturalized waterways spanning 1.3 kilometers in length and planted with a variety of riparian plant species. This naturalized waterway acts as a floodplain. This helps with climate resilience as it increases the capacity of the drainage system here and allows for more effective stormwater management. The plants along the stream banks also trap sediments and absorb nutrients before they enter Jurong Lake, one of Singapore's 17 reservoirs. These plants also provide shelter and a resting spot for our native fauna such as dragonflies and damselflies. Dragonflies and damselflies provide many ecosystem benefits, such as pest control. They feed on a wide range of insects, such as mosquitoes and midgets. The presence of dragonflies also indicate that the water is clean and the ecosystem is healthy. As part of the habitat enhancement, we've worked together with Tamasic Foundation in 2019 and we've created a dragonfly habitat at Niram Streams. This project aims to identify habitat factors that contributes to the dragonfly diversity, such as plant species and landscape. Around 30 different plant species have been planted here as part of the habitat enhancement efforts. These plants of varying heights can act as resting spaces for dragonflies and damselfly species to perch on and hiding spaces for their young to seek shelter from predators. Some of these plant species in Niram streams include the spiny lassia, a native plant species typically found in the freshwater swamp forests and river rhine habitats. On my left, we have the pandan plant. The pandan plant should be familiar to most of you. Pandan grows best in moist soil and has fragrant leaves. The juice extracted from this pandan adds fragrance to tea and desserts. The dense growth of this semi-submerged plant makes good hiding spot for dragonfly nymphs. Next to the pandan, we have the alligator flag pan. You can identify them by their flowers suspended from a zigzag shaped flower stalk. This plant also makes a very good resting platform for dragonflies to bask under the sunlight. A number of dragonfly and damselfly species also call Niram streams their home. One way to tell them apart is to look at their body shape. Dragonflies have a thicker body compared to the damselflies. The common parasol is one of the most frequently spotted dragonflies in Niram streams. The male common parasol has a distinct brownish red body and wings. The common scarlet is another dragonfly species often seen in Jurong Lake Gardens. It is also one of the largest species among the red-coloured dragonflies. The males are red from head to tail and have a distinct dark line along the top of their abdomen. Females share the same distinct line but are yellow in colour. A damselfly species often spotted at Niram streams is the common blue tail. The males can be identified by their green thorax and blue abdomen tip. Since the enhancement planting in Niram streams, we have also recorded a few more species of dragonflies and damselflies that have returned, such as the common amber wing and the yellow barred flutterer. As the name suggests, the male common amber wing can be identified by its set of beautiful amber coloured wings. The yellow barred flutterer is unmistakable with its distinctive yellow dark brown barred pattern hind wings. As its name goes, it has a distinct fluttering flying pattern that is unlike any other dragonfly. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Niram Streams at Jurong Lake Gardens. We hope you enjoy exploring the diversity of the plants, dragonflies and damselflies here. See you again soon. Bye!